Hey, what's up guys? Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be really different. I honestly don't even know where I'm going with this. Um, it's been an emotional night and I can't really say why. I've had a good day. Nothing bad has happened. Um, but it's just one of those days where like insecurity like and this anxiety like just eats at you for no apparent reason and i kind of just want to like sit here and just kind of talk like a video diary i guess because and just be real with you guys i feel like nowadays on social media everyone wants to like portray their life to be so perfect and everyone only puts out the good but never the bad or like the bad days you know what i mean like everyone is just trying to make their lives seem as great as they possibly can for others to see and for others to be jealous and that's that's the truth the sad truth and i'm making this video because I've always said since I started my channel that I want to be as transparent and as real as I can be with you guys. Now the last time I did a video like this was my weight loss journey video where I got really emotional and I opened up about my history with weight loss because that's been one of like the biggest things in my life has been weight. And I just wanted to open up again kind of like the truth about weight loss here months after I started the diet in August and It's been a good minute now and I know I've told you guys that I wanted to make a video Kind of like on an update on where I've been on my weight loss and I guess this is as real as it's gonna get I was gonna make a whole video and talk about how happy and amazing my life has been and it has it really really has um I'm extremely proud of myself. I'm 50 pounds gone and it's insane. My life has changed completely and I'm the happiest person that I've been in a while. But at the same time, I still have moments like this where today just out of nowhere, my insecurity just starts to build up and I feel gross and I feel ugly and I'm super hard on myself instead of saying, Michelle, look how far you've come. You've done nothing wrong. I'm still losing weight. I'm still focused i'm still driven i'm still doing all the work that i should be doing like i'm working hard but yet i'm still in bed crying and insecure and looking at myself ugly in the mirror and just finding every flaw even though i worked my ass off to get to where i am today and it hasn't been an easy process but here i am still crying and here i am wishing that my life was different and wishing that i looked different and not giving myself enough credit and it's so sad that us as human beings don't give ourselves credit for what we've done and we want everything right now and right away that instead of just reflecting back on ourselves and being like wow like you should really be proud of where you are right now instead we're just like i wish things were different and i want everything now and it's wrong and i'm saying this because i mean i i'm not even paying attention to that I clearly like i'm crying in bed and i'm emotional and i'm like for absolutely no reason I, i'm sorry this video makes absolutely no sense i'm literally just thinking out loud but and then it also comes in times where i feel like i'm stuck i feel like i'm stuck i feel like okay like where do i go from here i want things to be different i want to be more successful will i be successful and then i just start thinking I wish I would have done things differently when I was younger. I wish I was smarter. I wish I knew more about credit. I wish I knew more about credit cards. I wish I knew, I wish I paid attention more in school. I wish I just cared more when I was younger, you know? But then at the same time, it's kind of like, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. You know, I still love myself at the end of the day. I. I love the person that I am. I love the energy that I give out to people. But then there's just some days where I'm just really hard on myself. And I really wish I wasn't. And 
I just can't even explain like why I'm like this like like I said before I had a great day I had an amazing day and somehow here I end up crying in front of a camera onto you guys but it's just like I want to be real I'm having a bad day I'm feeling insecure and just wishing things were different and I don't want my channel to make it seem like everything's perfect because it's not I want to show you guys that you know we're all human and we're gonna have days like this but it's also days like this where we have to learn to reflect and be proud of who you are and where you've come and look back and not let yourself get like this and talk down to yourself you know we can, it's, it's okay to have bad days because bad days are the days where you really need to show your strength and be strong and look back and be like okay michelle go ahead and cry your tears but at the end of the day look back look at where you've come and you're gonna have to keep on going and we have to learn that patience is key and patience and consistency and a lot of faith and you just have to believe in yourself that you're just gonna get yourself out of this funk and it's been an ongoing battle with insecurity for a really long time a very very long time and i'm just learning step by step on how to love myself and this weight loss journey has been amazing and i've learned a lot and i've become this new person in the best way possible but at the end of the day there's still gonna be ups and downs and i want you guys to know that that it's not always perfect on how you see it on camera or on instagram like not at all you can be put i can be putting the happiest picture ever and still be super insecure and sad about it so again i don't know why i'm here i don't know what i came here to really say i was just in bed and i was like i just want to film i just want to talk and see if maybe anybody else can relate you know what i mean like it's just so crazy how we can have the best days the best days yet still end them being like this and crying for no apparent reason like nothing at all it's not like i went out and i couldn't find anything to wear and i felt gross or someone said something or literally for no apparent reason no reason at all it's just crazy because it, I just find myself comparing myself to others and I get myself in this funk and it's ridiculous because probably the people that I'm comparing myself to are going through their own things and I'm here thinking that they have the perfect life and that's probably not even it. But I guess it's just something that we all go through and it's something that we all gotta learn from and just kind of learn to be our own person and I feel like that's where I need to change is just stop being so hard on myself and just take it step by step and day by day and i know i can because i mean look how far i've come in this diet just wanted to talk to you guys because i feel like now that i have more subscribers and i'm almost to 10k that i want this to be more of like a friendship a family a sisterhood like with you guys and just be honest and just let you guys know what it is that i'm going through and how i'm feeling about everything and you know just help each other out and just let you know that you're not alone if you're feel oh my God, if you're ever having bad days just know that you are powerful that you are amazing that you are strong that you're smart and just pull through and believe in yourself because no one is ever going to believe in you like you do. Nothing is gonna change if you don't. No one's gonna, no, not anyone is going to be the person who's gonna make you change and give you everything. Sadly, nothing is given to us. You have to work hard for it. So I'm saying this because when I look back at this, hopefully I listen and this is something that I wanna learn. But anyone watching this that's going through the same thing that I am, that's going through great things but still manage to feel a little insecure just hold on there a little bit and just remember who you are and how far you've come and that there's people just like you and can relate to you and you're not the only one 
that we're fighting every day to find our happiness but we're becoming our best selves little by little and it's a process but a process that you don't have to go through alone and it's so crazy how some people don't think that like you know weight loss journey or weight should be a big thing and it's all about this self-love and love yourself and your body but it's so much easier to see on social media and others do it and you think you can't but it's so much more than that it's so much more than that when you grow up with weight being something so important um it just it's a lot harder so it's a journey and it's a journey that you have to learn to have a lot of patience with and little by little just find yourself oh my god my glasses like reflection i'm sorry but yeah and also if you guys ever need someone to talk to i'm here i always reply to dms and i'm willing to help anyone who needs someone to talk to um i don't want this channel to ever be fake or like something that you only see like perfectly on camera like i want it to be as real as possible this is gonna be really weird uploading this but um yeah i said this is just random i didn't know really what to do and it's crazy because more than ever right now i have a lot of people supporting me i have so many people sending me such sweet messages and telling me how proud they are complete strangers that i don't even know strangers who just seen my channel and they're like dude i'm so proud of you you look so good you're an inspiration i'm gonna start keto and and, and i love your energy and i love your spirit complete strangers but here i am still feeling this way it's just crazy how how life is and how your mind is and how your mind honestly plays tricks on you it's kind of like nothing is ever enough and i should be happy i should be through the roof and I, my heart is so full full of love and it's just like why am i feeling this way like why do i feel insecure and why do i feel like there should be more and not only that like my frustration recently has been like being stuck in the sense of work and youtube it's like like a self-doubt type of thing like like sometime like i'll be at work and we have so many new young people this is not me venting to you guys to be honest and we have so many new people and as you guys know i try or you don't know i turned 25 this year and all these new people at my job are like 19 20 and they're going to school or there's people from different countries coming here um to do a program or from other countries and you come and you work down here and it's kind of like i sometimes wish that i did more that maybe i finished school because i never finished school um i stopped going to school because well number one i was paying out of pocket and then i found my love for youtube and makeup and i've never been um i've never been like a school person you can ask everyone that really knows me i've never been the study type the the school one like just never it's just not me it's not my character and i did go to college but i feel like i went to college more because it was the right thing to do and i felt like if i didn't then what else was i gonna do how would others see me and but i wasn't passionate about anything really i mean i was or at least i thought i was or i was telling myself that i was but i really wasn't and um then in the midst of it all i would hate going to school and i would hate all my classes and i feel like i would see people that i know go and be happy and study and be able to really focus on that but my mind wasn't i hated it like i hated school i hated every second maybe if i really wanted something I would do it but i just couldn't and then it would bother me because it's like i'm paying my own money out of pocket i'm still paying a student loan that i used back then now and i'm not even in school anymore and 
it was just one semester where I just couldn't do it anymore and that was kind of around the time where I started YouTube and makeup and posts and that's when I was like this is what I want to do like I'm I want to do my own thing and I feel like I can be very successful in this so that is why I decided to get out of school and pursue YouTube now you guys see I'm still a small channel so clearly since I left school, I haven't really been that successful here on YouTube. You'd think that by this time I'd be like a Daisy Marquez or something because that was around the time that I started my channel too. But you know, everyone has a different journey and I guess a different time. And I was just busy with trying to make money and, and balancing out things in my life that I wasn't really too focused on YouTube. And again, just self-doubt, insecurity. It was just a lot these past two years has been a year where a lot of things has happened to me a lot of good a lot of bad but i'm so proud of where i am right now and i'm doing this video to kind of talk to myself and let myself know like hey stop being so hard on yourself and each journey is different but like i said before i just have days like today where i just cry and i'm like man like i wish i would have done things different before like i wish i would have gotten my degree i wish i would have done something else but then at the same time that's not what i wanted at the time and it's not what i was passionate about and what i'm passionate about is this is helping others brightening people's day making videos the way i do just kind of take you guys on my journey and just be relatable and have fun at the same time you know what i mean like i love watching videos like this like when i'm filming right now like just to see someone's raw emotion and just know the truth that everything's not perfect i love so i hope you guys like this video nothing it's kind of like what is this girl saying i'm doing what i love right now and i'm just being a little impatient i want to see results now and i also have realized that the truth about weight loss is weight isn't everything your goal weight isn't going to make you happy Money isn't going to make you happy. There's so much more things that, that's going to make you happy. And it's more of a self-love journey and a l loving your life journey, regardless of the money, of your looks, of anything. So I don't really know where I'm going to end this video, but I hope it made sense. I know it was probably a lot of word vomit. And like I said before, just know you're not alone. Just know that there will be good and bad days. And you just got to pull through the bad and there'll be even better days. I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my raw emotions and feelings. Like I said before, I want this channel to be for you to feel like we're friends like we're best friends like where i'm just venting to you and just know that i'm gonna make this as real as possible and i'm gonna keep it real forever and let's just keep pulling through and be the best people we can be and lift each other up stay strong bitches and stay fierce i love you guys so much